So hyperlipidemia, hyperlipidemia is the increased lipid levels in the blood vessels, in the blood circulation, and this is one of the bad uh, risk factor for developing the early coronary artery disease and early disease in the blood vessels. So it can either be a familial or it can be acquired by the dietary habits and there is a increased in level of the lipids in the blood you know blood plasma so there are certain type of lipids which are good for uh, you know body and which are bad for the body so there is a ldl type of uh, lipid which is considered as a bad uh, lipid and uh, the more the value of ldl uh, is available in the blood there is a higher chance of getting early atherosclerosis and plaque than narrowing other vessels but at the same time, there is a HDL variety of the lipid, which is a very good quality of lipid. And if it is a more concentration of HDL type of lipid, it is very beneficial for the uh, healthy heart. And uh, uh, some triglycerides are there in the body, if not properly controlled. There is a uh, danger to the heart and the blood vessels and the patient is prone not only for the atherosclerotic heart disease in the sense heart attack but any any dysfunction of any organ of the body there can be narrowing of the blood vessels of the brain kidney giving rise to stroke paralysis renal failure so at any cost the lipid should be controlled there is a way to control the lipids a proper investigation should be done and proper medication to be used to control the lipids and the dietary habits and proper exercise other risk factors which can augment in the presence of hyperlipidemia, diabetes, hypertension, smoking, obesity should be controlled to have an overall healthy lifestyle and a healthy body and a healthy heart. That's all about it. Thank you very much. Likewise, uh, serum cholesterol is also very important, one of the uh, uh, one of the factors in the lipid profile. So, in a lipid profile, there are four things. One is serum cholesterol, another is LDL, another is HDL, and another is triglyceride. All the four things should be in a proper level. There are certain drugs which are available, which will act on one, increase one, and will have no effect on the other. So a combination, a proper registered medical practitioner, a cardiologist, a doctor, a physician can only guide you which lipid is increased, whether it is a cholesterol, LDL, HDL, or triglyceride, and appropriate therapy is to be given, and the things are being under control. So a proper lipid profile is done, which includes again i am telling cholesterol hdl ldl and triglyceride and the proper therapy is to be initiated